Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So, today, we are going on a trip to Colorado. And your girl is excited, <laughs> but your girl is also extremely unorganized right now and has barely done any packing, and we are leaving in, like, two hours. If you guys have not seen from the last video, we are driving to Colorado, and as you guys may know, we live in New York, so it is a full 24-hour drive, and the reasoning behind this is because we have been on a lot of planes in the past few months. I think we've been on 12 planes in, like, the past two months. It's very expensive around this time since Christmas, and yeah, we were just not down to be flying again. So we are just going to soldier up and just do this drive. We've done this length before with babies, but they were definitely a lot younger and they were sleeping more. And now that they're more energetic, I'm a little bit nervous to see how this goes. But I have confidence that we'll do good. Our plan is to leave at 1 o'clock because that is the baby's nap time. And then that way we can start our drive while they're normally sleeping. And then after their nap time is done, which is 3, we are planning on stopping for food to get them out of the car and get energy and then getting back in the car and hopefully they'll kind of just sleep a little bit more than usual and go to bed a little bit early and sleep through the night we'll see how it goes wait till you see my room right now oh, this is empty this is josh's suitcase that he saw us to pack but that's all of his stuff that he brought from his house and then here is all of the food we went on a big shopping trip with just snacks and stuff that was really easy to like do in the car like we got um we got cereal bars for the babies and we got like mac and cheese because when we're there I like to eat this and the babies can eat this and then we just got like a bunch of baby food like you can see that whole thing is baby food and we just got some random stuff like salsa and chips for like the car graham crackers so gosh there's vitamin waters some more baby food some like breakfast bars, Chex Mix. And then over here, you'll see this is my suitcase and this is all the clothes that I have. And then this side is going to be designated for baby clothes, which I still have to pack. And if you can see right there and right there, that's two laundry baskets, a baby laundry that I have to put away and organize. And in general, my room is just a complete mess right now. <laughs> we are going to be vlogging our entire car trip. I'm just going to set up the camera and start organizing these suitcases and bags a little bit more. And yeah, and also, um, my mom got a ton of new clothing for the boys for Christmas. So I am planning on just packing a ton of that stuff as well. Like, it's still like in bags that I'm just going to put right into the suitcase. And I already have three containers of formula and I'm probably going to pack a fourth. Alright, so here we go guys. <laughs>
walking. So right now it's two o'clock. So we literally just left officially and we're like an hour behind schedule, but that's not bad actually. I'm pretty proud of us for getting out of there and getting everything packed. So we actually just stopped at my dad's house first before we left to grab our Christmas gifts because we didn't see him on Christmas. And he knew that we were going on the trip and he gave us some gift cards. And now we're on our way. We have 1,600 miles left and 23 hours until we get there. So it says that we're gonna get there at 11.30 tomorrow morning. All right, so there's a two hour time difference between here and Colorado where we're going. We need to be checking in at 3 so um, it says we'll get there at 11.30 so we'll actually be early and then we're just going to go to Katie and Ben's house because they offered that anyone who got there early can go and I'm actually pretty sure we're going to be like the last ones showing up because as far as I know like everybody else is a lot closer and like already had left hours ago. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be the last ones that show up. We're going through some pretty cool states on the way and there's like two paths that you can like take to get to Colorado from New York. And we chose one, which is the path that goes through like some states that we've never been to before. So even though we're just driving through, it's still kind of cool to say that we've like been there. Our plan right now is to get the babies up at four. So that's an hour and a half away from now. And we'll probably just stop really fast somewhere and get food and then hop back in the car whoever's not driving will just sit back there with them and kind of like play with them and try to like get some of their energy out and then depending on like how restless they are when they need a diaper change we'll stop again maybe like two hours later and that's kind of how we're gonna go until seven o'clock and then it's bedtime and then we're gonna hopefully put them to sleep and we're crossing our fingers that they will sleep for a long consecutive time throughout the night of driving so that's our low-key plan right now and it's pouring out. Hi, Beaky. <laughs> How do you feel about this car ride? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, Sophie's still doing good, you know. Sophie's just been driving for right, a while. So Sophie's, Sophie's still, still driving. Still driving. <laughs> Sophie's still driving, and we're gonna be in Pennsylvania in about five minutes, hopefully. So we will definitely try. We're to, we, we, yeah, we're trying to get all the signs. Yeah, on we're camera. trying to get all the signs when we enter a new state of like the borders and stuff. So, so we'll see how that goes. We've been driving for two hours now, and I'm still going strong. I always on car drives drive first because my energy is always in the beginning. So we're going. We're gonna stop for dinner soon though. Official stop. We got gas, but then this is our really first official stop. We're at an Olive Garden, and I got my little friend over here. He's so stinking cute. <laughs> he got just, just gotta sit, dude. Here's your, just wants to here's grab your toy. Uh, he's literally wow. crazy. <laughs> and he's like my... <laughs> You're getting a call. <laughs> it's for you. Thank you. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we're gonna change your diapers and get them out and then we're gonna go inside and just sit down for a little while. Um, and this is gonna be our first attempt at getting them in booster seats, like at a restaurant. Normally we have them in car seats, but they've been really good at sitting up the past week, really. They just yeah. have started to master sitting up. So we're gonna try booster seats today. So let's get these stinky babies <laughs> cleaned up a little bit. And we're definitely the parents that have no shame for just changing Baby's right in the front seat.
Alright y'all, so it is now 8.34 and we have about 18 hours left in our drive and as you can see we're progressively just looking more and more tired and more and more worn out but we're doing pretty good. So I've been the only one driving so far. I drove a total of like 6 hours of the way with some stops in it and now he's taking over over here. Yep. As you can hear one of the babies just kind of woke up because we just stopped to get some food. So, wait, while we're stopped, should we change Zeke's diaper? Because we haven't changed his at all. Oh, yeah. No. I think we should pull back over. Zeke's probably up. Just go, yeah. yeah, they are both up. So, while we're stopped, we'll just change their diapers one more time. Um, after Olive Garden, we just got right back on the road for like another hour. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's going. It's going. I think we have 1,300 miles left. You can hear them. It's been pouring like the entire time we've been driving through all three states. So we're in, o we're still in Ohio, right? I think. We're in yeah. Ohio. But we're pushing through, so we're about to change some more diapers and, and then yeah. give them bottles so that they hopefully are out for the rest of the night now because it's 8:30 and they should really be in going bed. To bed. Normally at home they're in bed at this time, mm -hmm. and they did fall asleep for a little bit, but now they woke back up because we stopped driving. So diaper changes and then back on the road. All right, so we just made it into Indiana, and we actually just passed through um, Indianapolis, and now we are at a gas station, as you can see, and it's like 12.30 now, and Sophie's been sleeping for the past like three hours while I've been driving, the babies have been sleeping really well also, so hopefully they stay sleeping. If they wake up while I'm getting gas, I'm just gonna check their diapers and see if they need to be changed, and we'll do that quick and then get back on the road. All right, so babies are awake. They're in really good moods, which is really weird because it's the middle of the night and they got woken up, but neither of them smell like poop, so they're not gonna need changing. And here is Ziki, just chilling in their car seats, having fun. Oh, well, me. Oh yeah, and Sophie has finally woken up also. <laughs> <laughs> but she's in a really weird mood right now. It's freezing. It's five o'clock now, and we're doing another diaper change. Oh, it's really cold. It's so good. Okay, y'all. So where are we? We are, I'm not even sure. We in are Missouri? in Missouri. We okay. just got into Missouri. All right, so Josh has been driving all through the night. Like, he is really good at driving in the dark. Like, for some reason, even if I feel really awake and I drive in the dark, my eyes just get so tired. So he's let me sleep. It's literally 5.30. What time did he start driving? Like, 9.30. 9.30, so he's been going off. <laughs> And I've gotten like a lot of sleep. It was so comfortable yeah, I was here. Gonna say, I could like put my seat back all the way, us. like literally almost flat. And we have like really big blankets, and so I was just passed out. And now I'm feeling a lot better. I got some coffee. I really like these. Obviously, just like the Starbucks drinks. And he's been drinking like a soda and vitamin water. And we have snacks. He has Chex Mix. Wait. His Chex Mix and some dark chocolate, and yeah, and so I just made some bottles for the babies. Um, so I did a really bad job, and I have our I have all the baby formula in the suitcase. I had not forgot to put a container in the diaper bag, and we like cannot access the suitcase right now. So they've been getting basically just bottles of water with a little bit of apple juice in it until we get there, which is okay anyways. But um, yeah, so they've been getting that. We have, oh wow, so we only have 769 miles left, which is like insanely good. Yeah. So it says it translates into 10, almost 11 hours, but we're going to get that time down. We already have gotten the time down a bit, so. So we should get there at 2, which is like pretty much right when we want to be there. Okay, yeah, so we're getting there at 2 in the afternoon, and um, so Maddie's already there because she accidentally booked a flight plane early, and then Kaylee and Cam are also on their way and going to get there around the same time as us. And then we can check into our Airbnb at 3, which we're probably going to have to stop again, so it's probably going to be pushed to 3 by the time we get there. Yeah, so it works out perfect, but um, it's freezing out wherever we are. We're in Missouri. Okay, yeah, it's Somewhere freezing in Missouri. In Missouri. It like was really actually warm in all the other states and now it's freezing here. 
and I kind of need to make a Walmart run at some point because I forgot like a few things and I also just want to grab like a quick sweatshirt that I can wear and I don't have to pull out of my suitcase. So yeah, and guys, I got freaking food on my shirt. <laughs> I would hate that. Yeah, like I said, we're looking progressively worse as the night goes <laughs> on. Like, my hair was perfectly straight, but when I started this, look at it. It's like curled. <laughs> it's so weird. It's from the rain. Because it's also been pouring the entire time we went driving. Yeah. Which, it literally just stopped like an hour like, ago. Yeah. So, we're two states away. We're almost there. And this is what they're eating right now. Um... It looks like they like it. It's their first time with it. They're tasting it. <laughs> Are yours already gone? And this is where Josh is driving right now. It's just like straight nothing. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Yeah, I know. No, I just thought, I thought those mountains or whatever the fuck they are look kind of uh, cool. They're kind of cool. It, is, it does look pretty it for us because we're not used like to that. Picture. It looks cool in a picture. But not like Did you eat part of your bar? Can you eat your bar? Oh, your mouth is empty. I see. Obviously, now they care more about like. He's just trying to just laugh and smile while I eat. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You're so stinking cute. He's trying to sit up. He's trying to get out. I'm sorry, baby. Soon, soon, soon. All right, guys. Oh my God, it's hilarious how just like first we look. So it's nine o'clock, and Josh is still driving. He drove all through the night. It's daylight out and we are in where? Kansas? Josh? He has beats on. <laughs> I think we're in Kansas. And we have um, 500 miles left. And then we're there. And so um, the babies have been amazing. They deserve so much love and attention and oh my god they did so good and I love them so much they literally oh my gosh they slept through like the entire night and before that they were like just silent and distracted and playing with toys and it's been freaking amazing I am so proud of you Pookie I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud, Pinky. Look at those teethies. I'm so stinking proud of you. <laughs> and even when we had to just get them out to change their diapers and put them right back in, they didn't even fuss. They were just chilling, and oh my god, I love them. And so now we're gonna eat breakfast in the car. We're gonna eat breakfast in the car, and I'm so excited for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, they are literally the cutest things ever. Okay guys, so I will check back in later. Super, super close, and um, 
we know that Cam has already gotten to the Airbnb, and so I'm pretty sure she probably checked in for us. And then all the rest of the girls are meeting us there. The babies have actually been really good. I know they sound horrible, but I'm letting them just cry it out for the last few minutes. I've been back there occupying them for probably the past 30 minutes before this, and they're just really energetic. They're laughing at like literally everything, but now that they have no one like there, they're upset. We both agree that this was definitely way more worth it than a plane. We spent less than 200 bucks on gas and um, even less on food because at the airport we would always buy really expensive food and it's so bright, oh my gosh. It, it looks so nice out, but it's freezing. <laughs> and there are mountains in the background. Yes, I'm not wearing my seatbelt because I just crawled up front, so that's what that annoying noise is. There's so many noises going on right now, and I literally cannot see. So guys, I will just vlog when we get there because this is, <laughs> we're on our final stretch right now. All right guys, it's like, what time is it? It is nine. It's 9.14 and a lot has happened. We got to the Airbnb, we hung out with the girls for a while, got dinner, and now we're like last minute shopping for all the stuff. Maddie's yes. here. <laughs> it's just us and Everly. Right there. Oh. <laughs> so that's what we're doing now. And then we're gonna go back to the Airbnb and probably just relax the rest of the night. Everyone is gonna be sleeping there, so it's gonna be like a little fun group. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, so yeah, this is what we're up to now. And then we'll probably just go to bed soon.